Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have actually an unboxing to do today because it is in a box. <laughs> and it's from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. It's that time of year. They have started bringing out their new Christmas range. Yay! Christmas in July. So I have a couple of items that I have ordered. Um, they have got Disney items on their website at the moment, or they did have when I made this video, uh, with 20% off. So if you want to go and take a look there, then now is the time. Um, I wouldn't waste any time though because things do tend to sell out quite fast. They are uh, licensed artwork as well. So you are buying a legally licensed Disney artwork from them. Let me just get this box open. See where it opens. Okay. I will be back in a second. Okay, and look what's in the box. Yeah. Okay, so let's get these taken out so we can have a look at them. So we've got two, three cards to have a look at there. We have a little framed picture kit. This is one of the little mini picture kits that I've had before. And then we have our Disney Princess three. Yay! Okay, so what shall we look at first? I'll leave that to last because we have actually looked at this one before. Uh, this is a present for my daughter. Um, it was on special offer, as I say, there's 20% off all the Disney stuff. So I asked her if she would like one and she said, oh yes, please. So we'll have a look at that one in a minute. Uh, I've got this framed hair, which I absolutely love. And that one is for me. And then I've got some cards. And you know what I'm like with cards. So let's have a look at this one first. I have again unboxed one of these before. Um, and I did send it out. Uh, I think it was to my sister-in-law for her birthday. And then I love it so much. I'm, I've got one back for myself. And I'm going to do this one. And it is going to go on my bedroom wall. In my bee-themed bedroom. Okay, strange everybody says bee-themed bedroom. Do you not get stung? No, was the reply. <laughs> okay, so all the, if you buy the cards singly from Craft Buddy, they come in these lovely like hanging tent cards, which give you all your details on how to diamond pin in four different languages there. Gives you a little bit of an overview of other products that Craft Buddy do. And then on the back, all the newer cards now come with DMC numbers and then gem and uh, crystal letters and special uh, drill letters so that you can catalogue all of your drills and put them away together if you want to. Tells you what you've got on the back as well. And I just think they really do make a lovely present. So I've done this one before, but uh, it's worth showing again because it is my favourite. So they are 18 inch, uh, sorry, 18 inch, bump, 18 centimetre by 18 centimetre cards, which is 7 inch by 7 inch. I think they're probably about 300, 350 GSM card. Uh, lovely, good quality. They pass the uh, flyover test if you give them a good waft. They are not going anywhere you know that is a good solid card it's not going to be falling over and the like the outside sort of crumpling and it goes Oof, like that you're going to end up with a lovely solid card as i say this one is going to be done and i will be putting this one on my wall but the gradients in these they really do chart them well they don't just put one color they put a gradient of colors so that it just makes it all blend and gives you a real good 3D effect there. So that's your card. You get a nice quality envelope as well. So, you know, it's not going to get damaged if you are sending it through the post. Um, my top tip, which I always say, if you are sending a card through the post and it's got something on the front, particularly the gems, just turn it inside out when you put it in the envelope. And it just means that that inside is now protected so if somebody scrapes the top of the envelope, it's not going to move your gems or scratch anything on the inside of your card. It's quite strange when you receive a card inside out because you think, oh, what's this? But then you soon realise why. Um, and it does just protect all those drills, all those gems and keeps them there. So I've never sealed any of my cards um, well, other than ones that I send to children. But any, you know, if it's going to an adult, I don't tend to put a sealer on them. They 
glue on the card is good enough to just keep it there. We've got uh, a nice branded toolkit, which is your little crystal art pen there with your three placer and your single placer. You always get about 20 little grip seal bags, which is great, very, very handy. Um, a little white boat and you get a couple of pieces of wax as well. So more than enough to do your little kit in there. And we have your gorgeous gems. Crystal Art, uh, Craft Buddy Crystal Art is all resin gems, they're not the acrylic. So they do have the extra facets and they do sparkle that little bit more. And those teardrops, those gold teardrops are what is in the middle of this flower. And once it's done, it really does look like a flower effect and sparkle. It's really, really pretty. Okay. I hope my sister-in-law realises how special she is to me for me to have sent out that card. <laughs> she doesn't know how hard it was for it to leave the house. <laughs> um, right, so we've got just the plain black, a little bit of brown uh, for a little bit of shading. And then we've got the three bee colours and flower colours there. A little bit of grey and another little bit of beige brown. And then gorgeous like honey colour, a lovely lemony gold and two of your greens for your leaves so yeah it's stunning when it's done this one i really really like it this was um i think it was maybe it was one of the new ones that came out last year and i think it has been very very popular because it doesn't always seem to be in stock and i thought as soon as i was ordering um you do get in the uk free postage over 35 pounds so I added this in really so that I could get my free postage. Um, so yeah, great. <laughs> it's like getting this free really. It'd be rude not to take advantage of the special offers, wouldn't it? And I did have my discount code as well. So I got some money off as well, which is even better. Right, and I do keep these little sleeves so that even when I've done the card, I keep them in these little... Uh, poly sleeves and it just keeps the card uh, nice and uh, dirt free until it gets to be sent out or framed or whatever so that's our gorgeous little bee I keep the toolkit out because so I don't put those back in with my cards now then we now have two Peter Rabbit Christmas cards oh, look at these wow well, we'll have a look at this one first because it's practically run towards me. Okay, again, in the beautiful packaging, all licensed artwork. So this is licensed proper Peter Rabbit Beatrix Potter um, artwork. And yeah, your little Craft Buddy logo there. And all your DMC codes on the back there. So let's get this one out and have a look. Okay. Oh, love these. Again, I think these just might be staying at my house and staying as pictures. Oh, look at the bunnies, look at the bunnies. If anybody's uh, been watching me a while, you'll know I love bunny rabbits. <laughs> Lovely envelope again there. Uh, same tool kit, your little pen, uh, your little piece of wax and about 20 bags, but seal bags. Okay, so that's our gems there. Oh, pretty, pretty. Look at the bunnies. Oh, how gorgeous is that? So we've got Peter and this looks like this is one of the Flopsy bunnies because it's got the little red cape on. And I think it's the Flopsy bunnies that had the red cape. But you can see all this wreath here, this holly wreath here, is all uh, crystals on it. Looks like we've got holly berries, just little red dots all the way around. And then these baubles here that are hanging down, they're all diamond painted they've all got gems on and then the little bunnies oh look he's saying ow ow I've just pricked myself and she's saying well I'm holding it really carefully and if you hold it carefully it won't prick you <laughs> he looks really startled oh on this little paw and she's just saying well look if you hold it like this <laughs> oh I love those that little face Oh, that is so sweet. And I love the pattern background. Rather than it being like a solid picture, you've just got like the abstraction. It's got the baubles and everything is like framing it, but it's more just a pattern of a background. That's really good. 
and a little bow on it. Oh, really pretty, like that. Okay, let's have a look at these gems and jewels. Okay, so we have, oh, look at those. They're like an electric blue little uh, marquee there. Real sparkle on that one. And then these will be like the holly berries that are just dotted around on the picture, a little round red there. And then these are, again, a mixture of resin gems and your crystal gems. Wow. So we've got five of the resin gems. Sorry, six of the resin gems because of the pink one there as well. And five of the crystal gems and two specials. So there's quite a bit of uh, diamond painting to do on this one. They take roughly half an hour, 40 minutes, up to an hour maybe, depending on at what speed you go at with your diamond painting. And it's not a race, you don't have to do it all at once. You could maybe just come in and put do Peter's coat there and then come back and do a bit more later. You know, it's your project, it's your time. And just remember to enjoy it. You do need to enjoy doing your little hobbies. And if it makes you smile, all well and good. So that's Peter and Flopsy Bunny, which, oh, really cute, like that one. Put him over there. And then we've got Peter. And look, we've got a snowman, but it's a rabbit snowman because it's got pointy ears. And we've got a little robin up there as well. So again, you've got your lovely packaging with your DMC codes on the back. Okay. I find if you open these from the back, then you don't destroy your cards. If you do like to keep the cards, or if you're just wanting to uh, keep it while you do the project. Okay. Peter and the Snow Bunny. Okay. Oh, it says Peter and Flopsy there. Look, there's me saying, is it a Flopsy Bunny? Uh, yes, Liz, it says so. <laughs> oh, dear. I must learn to read one day. All right, but I have read this one. It does say Peter and the Snow Bunny at the top there. So there's Peter Rabbit, look, and he's actually shaking hands or he's holding hands with the Snow Bunny. And the little Robin's saying, oh, hello, yes, we're pleased to meet you. Oh, look at the little nose. And all the trees have lost all the leaves, look in the background, because it's snowed. And the fence in the background, the gate there, has got snow on it as well. Oh, and his little tail, his little cotton tail at the back. Oh, oh, even the snow bunny's got a cotton tail, look. And his little scarf on. Oh, that's really sweet. I really like these. Uh, again, we've got the same toolkit. So, yeah, we've got plenty of uh, little grip seal bags to keep us going on these. Okay. Let's have a look at these drills. So the special is the green little marquee again, which will be on the holly leaves that uh, Peter is holding. Oh, I think they're quite brave really to be holding all this holly. I'm not quite sure that I'd be holding holly. Uh, not with a fairy paw anyway. Maybe the fair stops it from sticking into them quite so much. And then these are our resin drills. So we've got a lovely black and a grey and a brown and a few beiges. And oh, look at that green. That's like a pea green. And another beige and a grey and a blue. Oh, and another green. Look at those two greens. Love those. Very fresh coloured greens, aren't they? And then a beige colour. And you've got your white there. What I'll probably do with the snowman, what I've done with snowman in the past that I've done, is actually mix in some um, B5 200 AB coated drills. So you just get a little bit of extra sparkling with your snowman. And um, it just, if you put them 50 50, I have a bag that's like 50% uh, of the AB, which is an Aurora Borealis coating, an iridescent coating on just a white gem, and then just the plain white gems. And you just get a random mix in between while you're doing it, and it just gives it a little bit more sparkle. And I do like my sparkle. 
and then we've just got a little bit of red for your holly leaves and for around a little snow bunny's hat. I don't think I've ever seen a snow bunny before. I'll have to look out for one. I think ever since I said I wanted to make a snow scotty, uh, here in the UK we've not had enough snow to make a snowman or a snow scotty. So one year I will make a snow scotty, so watch this space. I think we're about six years in now since I said it and I've still not managed to <laughs> I jinxed myself. Uh, the year before we'd had tons of snow and I could have made loads. Um, and then as a server since I said, oh, I really want to make a snow scotty because I see loads of them on like Facebook and everywhere of other people in other countries having made these beautiful snow scotties. And I, I'm going to make one of those. Just not being able to. Just not had enough snow to do it. Either that or I'll have to go to a country that has a lot of snow so I can do one time. <laughs> okay, so that's two a peter rabbit christmas cards i hope they bring out some more a mrs tiggy winkle christmas card would be beautiful wouldn't it i wonder if they will fingers crossed we'll get some more i reckon if these are popular then they might do so get by in <laughs> all right and then this is just one of these smaller kits um they're a 21 centimeter by 25 centimeter frame and they're just the they're on like a board i'll show you it but i have done them before i have actually got a peter rabbit one as well um and they're just really pretty and again lovely packaging i always think it makes it extra special when you get really nice packaging with a, with something because it really makes it feel special and like a present doesn't it and we've got our instructions on the back telling us what our contents of our parcel is and showing us our packaging. It says eight plus, I think that's sort of for legal reasons and things, but my granddaughter's been diamond painting from being five, six, obviously, you know, your children, your grandchildren, um, just supervise them really. I think the only stabby thing really is the pair of scissors to open the packets. But other than that, there's not a huge amount they could harm themselves with, as long as they don't decide to eat the drills. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look in this packet. So yeah, they come on like, um, it's a very thick piece of cardboard and it just has the edging around it to go in the frame so you're not putting drills underneath the frame and moving them. But isn't that picture absolutely stunning? I think it really does look cross-stitch actually when you look at it when it's completed. Um, you know, it really does look like little wool stitches to me on there. But I just thought, I love the hairs. I love the story of the hairs and the moon and everything and the dancing in the moon. They uh, really are something that has quite captured my imagination. One of my friends um, has a gold disc that has a, a hair engraved onto it. It was handmade by this guy in Scotland that we went to see, this goldsmith that we went to see. And uh, the story he told us and everything, just magical, love it. So when I saw that they were bringing out this hair set and there is a bigger one as well, I thought oh, I'm going to have to have the small one for now and I'll maybe get the bigger one at a later date. But yeah, just thought he was gorgeous and the little Robin look just sat in the corner. It's called Majestic Hair and Robin, this painting, and I can quite see why. Very, very pretty. So you do get your frame and it's an actual easy to use frame as well. They're not those horrible little black metal bits that you have to break your nails and um, half your relatives, you know, trying to open them. They're, uh, <laughs> they're just these nice little spring loaded ones where you just push it down and it just spins to the side to open. And then you push it down and it spins back around to shut. Or you've got the little stand on it as well. So you can stand it up if you want to. And also these have a little hole in. So if you did want to hang it on a wall, you can hang it on a wall as well. There's no glass or perspex or anything in these. So if you are putting it in a steamy place, you would need to seal it. Basically, you just take the back off and the picture just slots inside. And you've got a lovely little silver frame to complement your picture. I mean, you could paint it if you wanted it a different colour. Um, just sand it down a little bit to make it a bit rougher so the paint sticks or if you use a spray paint you wouldn't need to bother with that um, you know you could just put it whatever colour you wanted but I do like the silver I've got the Westy one that I did 
uh, last year and I really love that one still. It's still on my wall. It's actually an Olary Scotty on my Westy wall in my bedroom, my craft room. Okay, we've got our little um, leaflet that tells you all about craft buddy, what you get in your kit and then your six different languages for diamond painting. Great fun. Uh, we have our lovely little key code and it shows you whatever bits are diamond painted. Basically, they're saying this is a partial, but that's because the hairs, eyes and nose aren't diamond painted because they would be too small. They would look too blurry. They wouldn't stand out if you actually put gems on them. So they just leave them as the painting rather than covering them with your gems. But once it's done, you'll see it just really does look good. They, they really do think about they're charting and everything and where they place the drills on these. Uh, very good at doing this. We've got one um, crystal gem and one special gem. If you look at your key codes on Craft Buddy, anything that has a zero at the beginning um, or a double zero or whatever, um, or a letter at the beginning are the special gems and they tend to put those at the end of the other gems and they do put DMC codes on their uh, co codes as well. So if you're wanting to save your gems, you can do. Again, same toolkit. We're getting a lovely collection of these. Okay. And let's just have a quick look at these drills. So that's our special uh, shape gem. That's a large red uh, faceted crystal there. And that will be all on these little thing where you see C, the little red dots. So it's like little red holly berries all the way around the picture, just in the larger size, just to sparkle away there. And then the other special is your little crystals there. The crystals are always really sparkly, really good silver crystals there. Okay, and how many colours is in this one then? There's 17 different gems and colours on this one, so a, a good mixture. So we've got a lovely russety brown and a couple of greys and like an orangey brown and a chocolate brown and a nice foresty green and a pale grey. And oh, look at that, that's a lovely bright green, a dark brown, a pale fawn, oh, an orangey colour there, and a bit paler fawn, and a caramel chocolate colour, and an army green, and then that will be like 3865 and off white there. It's not your bright white, it's just your creamy white. So, lovely crystals there. Okay. Those back away in there. So that's our little hair. Okay. And then finally, I did actually, as I say, show you this um, as I was going through my Christmas stash of what I had left over from last year. So I'll quickly go through this for anybody that's not seen it. Um, and there is a full unboxing from last Christmas from when I did this one as well. So if you do want to see that, I can put the links down below. But basically this is how they come to you in a nice gift box. So you can give it as a present. Great to get youngsters started on uh, diamond painting because lots of little girls and some little boys do like your Disney princesses and you've got three on this one. Okay. And your licensed Disney, so you do have your license on the back there. Comes in its nice packaging. She says if she can find a way to get into it. <laughs> okay. So this is a little bit bigger project. So you get the little bit upgraded toolkit. So you have your normal white boat. You have a white boat with a spout. You have your little tub of your Craft Buddy branded wax there. Crystal art, it says on the top. Two purple pen grips and two of your branded crystal art pens. One with the, th with the three placer and the single placer. So, you know, that's an upgraded toolkit from just your standard toolkit that you get in the smaller kits. So, yeah, that's your two different types of kits that they do for you. 
okay and i will leave that kit in with this one because this one as i say is a present from my daughter <laughs> All right, this actually has 30 different gems and colours. And again, the key code shows you there what you're diamond painting. So the faces aren't diamond painted. Everything else is around the wreath, but not the faces. Again, because they would be too small. If you put the gems on, it would just look like blobs rather than actual expressions and faces. You get your craft buddy leaflet there telling you how to diamond paint and your inventory sheet of what you get inside your kit and then you get a lovely mdf wreath and for a real good quality heavy good quality wreath you've got your little brass hanger already on the back so it will hang on the wall and um, it is quite heavy and once it gets the drills on it will be quite heavy so you will need a, a good nail in your wall to keep this hung on um, again, I do tend to use an MDF, an MDF, <laughs> an alcohol marker, pro marker, just to go around the edges. I will colour it in green just so that the brown doesn't show. I don't like being able to see the brown edgings on them. I like to see it as a colour so it just blends in a little bit more. But it's a mixture of resin dr drills and specials. Um, I just think it's super. I mean, really, I know it's a Christmas wreath, but you could probably keep that out all year. I don't think it screams sort of Christmas. If you have that in um, a little girl's bedroom, if they've got princesses and things, I don't think someone's going to say, well, have you got a Christmas wreath up at the time of year? I think they'd just say, oh, that's a nice picture with the uh, three princesses on there. And they're bringing you presents, look. So those two have got a present and she hasn't. She just thinks she's it. And they've got the presents. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at these drills. How many specials did we get? Let's have a look. So it starts off the 5200 has got an AB next to it. So that's the Aurora Borealis coated white one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got 10 different special drills on this one. So it's 20 resin drills and 10 of your special drills. So that's a nice mixture. It'll just give it some extra sparkle. Okay, so let's start with this one. Oh, look at that green there. It's got a lovely bright green there with a purple and a lilac. And oh, look, four different colours in your lilacs and right down to pale like, lavender colour at the end there. And the black and a nice cherry red and the pink and like an orangey colour and a sort of brownie orange. And the blue, oh, and lots of green because we've got quite a big wreath. So three different colours there for your shading. And a lemony colour. And another orange and a pinky colour. A couple of blues. And then that's your AB. If you can see there, rather than it just being plain white, you can just more or less make out the coating on those. Just gives them that bit of a sparkle. And a couple of greens. Um, sorry, I thought some had disappeared off the desk then, but they haven't. <laughs> and then your specials. We've got some large round pinks and some large faceted gold crystals and blue crystals and some little marquees in blue. Some smaller marquees in gold and green. And then some little pink marquees with an AB coating. Wow. Just get these put away and I will be back with you in a second. Okay, well, thank you for uh, looking at these with me. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. If you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.